Hey everyone, in this lesson, um, I'm going to try to create the anchor base. So I'm going to hold my breath on this one. I know this one's always like, it's, it's challenging. So it says dimensions are in inches. So I've got a new, new. I'm going to go to English, standard, create. Start a 2D sketch. I'm going to draw it on this XY plane. So I'm just going to create the front. Almost like a front elevation view. Um, and then extrude it back to start with. So, and I'm also not going to worry about those. Um, the chamfers, the angled edges or corners or anything like that at the beginning. So, I'm going to start with a line. And let's see how I can do this. So, the whole width of this is 3.5. So maybe I'll just start with that. So I'll go here, come over 3.5. I'm going to go up. That's 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Here. I'm going to come over to the left. That's 0 0.75. I'm going to go straight up. That is 2. And then I'm going to kind of do the same thing on this other side. So over here, I'm going to go up 0.5. I'm going to come over um, 0.75. Straight up 2. 2 here. Um, that's going to be... 0.5. It's going to be 0.5 here. And then down. It's going to, uh, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to draw a random down here. I'll just do a random to the right, straight up, and then over. I'm going to dimension this is going to be 0.5. That should be one in between here. Let me see what it is. Yeah, that's one uh, here. I don't need that dimension actually. Um, this, oh yeah, yeah, I need to go, I need to draw a line from, it's kind of over here somewhere up 0.75. This is gonna go over. That doesn't look right. Why does that not look right? Um, oh, I know. Just draw it random over, random down, straight. Um, this dimension is from here to here is going to be 0.5. It's not going to let me do that. Um, let's see. Here to here. Oh, it's not letting me. Um, oh, this is two. Why is, oh, let me, I'm trying to think, let me get rid of these, get rid of these. Oh, no, I got that one. This should be 0 0.5, 0 0.5. There we go. Uh, yeah, and then let's see. So from here to here, from here to here is 1.25, 2, 2, 2, 2. And let's see, this dimension from here to here is 1.125. Yeah, there we go. So there's our uh, kind of our side profile view of that piece. So then I want to, what can I do? I could, hmm. let me dimension. I'm going to dimension from here to this origin here and make that zero. So we can move this whole thing over. 
And yeah, I'll do that. So I'm gonna finish my sketch here. I'm gonna extrude this back, this piece back. That has a, let's see what that distance is. So yeah, they don't actually tell us what that depth is. So um, it should be 1.25. I'm gonna hit the okay there. We got a, kind of an H, I like it. Kind of a fancy looking H shape. So then what we can do is I'm going to, um, I'm gonna start a sketch on this kind of top plane here. I'm gonna draw a circle just randomly on here. Uh, I'm gonna dimension this circle. This is gonna be, the diameter is 0 0.375. 0 0.375. 0.375. And then the center is gonna be, let's see, from the center of this to this back edge, that's 0.625. 0.625 and then from the center to this edge here is 0.375 and then while I'm at it I can also create one over here what I could do is just I'm gonna draw just a random over here I'm gonna go to my equal so I'm gonna click this, and I'm gonna click this. So now the diameters are equal. Um, because I'm flipped around uh, on this one, I'm going to, this will actually be a horizontal constraint, I think, even though technically it's vertical. So horizontal, I'm gonna click the center line of this, circle in the center line of this, and it slides over in line there. And then now I can just dimension to the center of this just like I did on the other side. So that's 0 0.375, 0 0.375. I don't need to mention that because I have it constrained where it's in line here. So I'm gonna finish this sketch. I'm gonna extrude. Let's see if I can grab that circle, even though I can't see it. I'm gonna grab that one. And this one, I'm gonna use the cut feature. I'm gonna cut through all then hit OK. So there's that part. All right, so now I'm going to do something a little fancy here um, to kind of chamfer these corners off. Uh, I'm going to use the chamfer tool here. I'm going to click on this third option where it says two distances because it, they tell me the distance of each one of those. So it's 0 0.30 for distance one. It's 0 0.30 for distance two, and for the edge, I'm just gonna select this vertical edge of all four of these sides here. Wait, should I do them one at a time? All right, so let me do that. Uh, edge chain, I don't know. I'm just gonna hit apply. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Apply, click that edge, apply. Spin this baby around. So and then this edge apply so that's kind of how to do oh wait you know what i didn't need to chamfer the two back edges so i can look for where you see let me go back to my original view so i'm gonna go where you see the chamfer for my right i'm gonna right click it i'm gonna delete that one for th uh, let's see for two i'm gonna right click it i'm gonna delete that one too all right, so I didn't need to do all four. I got a little over exuberant. So just these first two in the front. Okay, so then I'm going to start a 2D sketch on this face here. I'm gonna create a circle just randomly somewhere. I'm going to dimension it. It has a diameter of 0.50. And then we need to figure out where the center is going to be. So from this line, 
to our center, that is 1.5. And then it's going to be uh, from the center to one edge is going to be 0 0.625, 0 0.625. And then I can finish my sketch. I can extrude cut this all the way through. Hit OK. So then I just need to kind of round the, the tops off. So how, how are we going to do that? That's really, that's really the, the tricky part. All right, so here's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try to start a 2D sketch on this plane here. I'm going to project geometry. I'm going to project this top line here. And then I'm going to draw a circle kind of just off to the side way over here. I'm going to dimension this. So it gives us, it tells us that the radius of that is 1.50. So again, I'm just going to, I'm going to right click, change my dimension type to radius. And then I'm going to change this to 1.50. So what now what I want to do is I'm going to move this um, circle to where, let me hit the escape a couple times, move my circle to where the, the top of it is touching kind of the top, the very top of that, or the top of the circle is, is, is tangent to that line up there. So I just kind of move this over from the center point to where it kind of locks in the center here. And then what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to hit this tangent constraint. So I want to click the line first and then my circle and it raised it up. And as long as your, your center is, is in line with the center of this circle here. So I could also project geometry. I could project that to get those that center there and as long as these are lined up which I could use the um, in this case the horizontal constraint so here actually it's the vertical I need this one and this one and so they're lined up so now um, I can trim Let's see how can I do this I want to trim uh, I want to trim this. Yeah. I also, I need to, I need to project geometry. I need to project these and that, and then I can trim. Hopefully, this side. Yeah. So then, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I'm gonna finish my sketch. I want to see if I can extrude cut the tippy top here and the tippy top there. And I want to cut it all the way back through all, like so. It kind of shaves off the top there. So yeah, that was a little tricky, a little challenging, but I mean, there's different ways you can do that. But, you know, that worked. So I'm going to save this as anchor base. Anchor base, do I already have one of these? If I already have one. I'm just going to call this inventor anchor base just to make it different because I, I already have one for some reason from like, what is that, February? Anyway, I'm going to save it as inventor anchor base and then I'm going to um, fix all these. Ground plane, no, I don't care about the ground plane. Uh, shadows, yes. Photo booth. Color it. With my smooth eye over there. And then save that. All right, so there we go. So that, that was kind of fun, though. I like challenges. I don't like impossible challenges, but I like challenges. Anyway, so the next one that we'll do is the uh, the wedge block. And that's going to that's gonna pose another challenge, but we're going to get through it.